Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another introduction for another project pan because I am addicted. I am loving just using up my makeup and rediscovering things that I haven't used in so long. It's just forcing me to to just be a little bit more experimental and get out of my comfort zone and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm a, a month late to this project, but it doesn't really matter. I think it's the third year it's run and it is Partners in Cream. So this was founded by Steph Lyons and Darlin from Outward Processing. I'm gonna pop all the links down below. There is a sign up sheet as well, but it's just a bit of like a global collaboration and you just choose between three and six cream products I think. So anything that isn't powder, I'm focusing purely on makeup because a lot of my other projects, I've got like body care, skin care, hair care, that type of thing, and not a lot of makeup in my other things. So everything in this project is going to be makeup related for me. And I'm kind of going like, go big or go home. I'm really excited about my selection. There's a couple of things in here I've been wanting to look at panning. And I had considered one item in particular, it being in its own project. But I've decided to pop it into here. I'm hoping that this is going to continue on after this year. And then I'll just keep on working on them until they're done. So I'm very, very excited. And um, so yeah, pop down below. There's it'll be a hashtag, I think, as well, probably like Partners in Cream. I'm not sure if it's like got the 2022 on the end or not. But I'll pop the hashtag on the screen here but it will be in the title and it will be in the description box down below so if you're enjoying this then you can search that and you'll find everyone else that's doing it but it's ever such a popular project and I started it last year but only for a few months and I gave up because I'm silly but I am definitely more determined I'm more in the panning frame of mind this year so I hope you will join me and then um, shall we just get started so I've chosen one, two, three, four, five. I've got six products. Um, and some of these are going to be quite challenging because they've got multiple components in each. But it's fine. Um, the first thing I've chosen is just a small primer from Anna Sui. I seem to have a lot of primers in my um, other projects as well. But this one is not an illuminating one. I've had it for ages. It is actually quite a nice primer. But there's still quite a lot left in there i will do photo starting photos and starting weights so on my update next month i will be able to let you know i think there's um, a quarterly refresh as well so if you have any like just um i don't know if you just change your mind about something or you're bored of it or you've maybe hit your targets or whatever you can just refresh and um yeah bring in some new products i'm going to really try and stay committed to these i really want to get them done and out my collection some of them have been in for quite a long time and some i just want to try so yeah this has been in for a long time i know that i do like it i know i can finish it it's not huge so yeah i'm just going to focus on this one so that's my first product now next product is another base product and i've had this a long time and it is a revolution foundation but it's in the stick and i never ever use stick foundations i think i used it once before and I, I actually didn't mind it i thought when i first put it on it was quite light but actually once i got my makeup done i'm sure it was all right it smells like it's okay it's in the shade f4 which is pretty fair um but that's it kind of there oh well, again i'll do starting photos but yeah i want to finish this everything i want to finish um it doesn't look too bad a match for me i know you're not meant to um check on your hand but I think that's going to be all right. And yeah, we'll see. So that is my next product. Um, next one is, I got this in the beauty box. It's an eyeliner by Lacquer and Co. I'm not sure about that brand. But I had a quick look through all my like cream eyeshadows. And this looks really nice. There's not a great deal of product in it. That's it there. Um, but it seems a really lovely color. Um, colour. It'd be nice for either like a brow highlight or an inner corner highlight or maybe even popping on your base and then just sort of popping a little bit of like maybe a topper, a um, little sparkle topper. But that's it there. And then when you sort of smush it out, it's not over sparkly. It just looks, I don't know, I think it looks really subtle and very wearable. So because it's not scary, I think I'll be able to use it. So it's not anything I'd normally use. So yeah, um, I don't think it's got a shade on that I can see. It probably came in a box at the time. Um, oh, no, it says... What does that say there? 
Oh, I don't. What does that say? Can you see? Once I've had a look, I'll pop it on the screen. It says something. <laughs> now, next, these ones now are going to be like my really interesting things. I've got three different products here now, which are going to be so challenging for me because they're not things I would normally use like ever. The first one is a face palette. So I was tempted to do this on my own, like a, a pan that face palette. But um, let's see. I've only ever swatched it, as you can see. So there's a highlighter. I think it's a concealer and a, br um, a bronzer but um, or a contour. So it is the Revolution Contour Kit. It's pretty old. Certainly needs using. Um, and yeah, it's not anything I would normally use. I wouldn't usually use cream products. So it feels really well the highlighter feels really smooth the concealer feels really thick and as does um the contour shade so that's them there let's have a little look so we've got the let's do them all and see what they're like so oh my wow this is yeah interesting the contour shade is quite cool toned so that might i, I don't normally contour but it blends in really nice I think that'd be interesting to use. I am going to try it. And it um, it feels almost like a cream to powder. It, it feels quite a nice formula, actually. I'm not an expert in cream formulations because I just don't normally use cream products. But it feels quite nice, very sort of satiny. So I think that'll be okay. And it's not a dreadful shade. The concealer looks quite brightening. I might be able to use that on my under eyes or maybe as a an eyeshadow base. And again... I mean, it's very brightening, isn't it? So that might be a good eye base. I don't know. We'll give it a go and see. It's certainly going to be brightening under my eyes. And then this highlighter just scares the living bejeebas out of me. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure about the highlight. We'll try. I might have to use that as an inner corner. Um, we'll see. That might be my least used one. We'll give them a go. I think let's just try and get hit and pan on them first of all and then I'll see how I feel about them and then I'll hopefully continue to work on them. I think I can definitely maybe try and finish the concealer and the um the contour. I think I just want to hit pan on this highlighter but we'll see how we go. Um they look alright. Don't look too bad. Um next thing I've got is a lip palette from L'Oreal. Again, I've had this in for so long. I've never really used it. And they've got a, a nice mix of shades. So I think I'd definitely like to try all of the shades. Um, and I'd like to maybe try and hit pan in each shade. I think that's going to be my initial goal. Um, it'll get me trying them all and see what I like. But yeah, I'm going to try and hit pan in every shade. And then we'll go from there. Once I've hit pan... I'll just see if there's any that I can sort of finish off. But um, there's a good mix, isn't there? It's not something I normally use, but give that a go. And then my last one is one that I'm really, really excited about. And this was going to be a video in its own right. It's super old. I've just had a little look online now to see if anyone's panned this before. And all I could find was lots and lots of reviews. But all the reviews are about seven and eight years old. Um... I got this in a beauty box years ago, but I've not been having beauty boxes for seven years old. So when I got it, it was probably an old product then, which is why it was included in the beauty box. But it is by the balm and it is How About Them Apples and it is the Lip and Cheek Palette. Um, and I just love everything about this. And it's one of these things where I kind of wanted to keep it just because I think it looks so fab. It reminds me of the old Ladybird books I used to have when I was a little girl. And then, um, so yeah, this is the palette. And then inside, first of all, there's a big mirror, which is fab. Excuse me. But there are six shades. And I just think these look great. And um, I am certainly wanting to get more into cream products. And the fact that I've got like my face palette here, but no blush. This is why I kind of wanted to bring this in. And I know I've got a lip thing as well, but I just really want to use this so, so much. Um, and I just love the fact that it makes me really laugh. So I've obviously got all different types of like um, apples sort of things. You've got yet. Yeah, cider apple pie apple cider 
apple candy, a caramel apple, crisp apple crisp and apple cobbler. And you've got all like your, um, <laughs> your fit cowboys. It makes me laugh so much. Um, so yeah, if nothing else, it'll, um, a little bit of eye candy to look at whilst I'm doing my makeup in the morning. I'm going to have a little quick look and see what they're like. I'm not sure what the formulas are like, but, um, this looks like it'd be nice ones for the cheek. They all look like they'd be okay for cheeks, all lip colours. Again, I want to hit pan in everything. Ultimately, I'd love to finish this, but um, I haven't even swatched some of these. Um, they feel really creamy. Ooh, wow. That's super <laughs> really. Um, Will they blend out? Oh, see, they're going to blend out nice. They're going to look really lovely on the cheek. That's so nice. Let's try this one. Let's do a couple. Um, so yeah, and I think they'd be really, they feel lovely. I think they'd be so nice as lips or cheek colours. Um, what's this red one like? Oh, they're so smooth. I actually really like them. Why have I never used this? Oh, I'm so pleased I brought this into this project. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. Um, how exciting. Have you used this product yet? Have you finished it? Have you tried it? Did you like the formula? Do let me know. So, um, yeah, a quick break rundown again. So I've got this six. I mean, I've got so many things in each category. It doesn't matter. I just want to use them. It's absolutely fine. Um, so we've got this, first of all, like this little six lip and cheek products. We've got this, um, lip palette here. We've got the cream, um, highlighter eye crayon thing got some a stick foundation oh, i've got a face palette from revolution and we've got the um primer from anna Sui. so those are my products um i think it normally updates about the 10th of the month so obviously this is my intro i'm a, a month behind but it's cool i will see you all again in the middle of march um let me know what you think to my products <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.